Texas is serving up for a fight, and the political landscape and non-white voters are at the very heart of it. I feel already that I don't have no voice. Gerrymander is the word of the moment here. That is parties deliberately changing political boundaries to give them an advantage. It's not the people picking the politicians, it's the politicians picking the pe people that are voting for them. Remapping congressional districts to dilute the opposition. And now the federal government is suing Texas. The Department of Justice claims Republican lawmakers are deliberately discriminating against a growing non-white population. As the Supreme Court has observed, a core principle of our democracy is that, quote, voters should choose their representatives, not the other way around. Kaylee runs this Mexican restaurant in Austin. Frustrated doesn't come close. They're not doing anything wrong, just not representing us. That's, that's a lot of wrong. But I mean, it's, it's, up, it's also up to us to stand up and, and say something. But if not, people are just going to give up. The Democrats campaigned hard here in Texas in the 2020 presidential election in a sign of just how much they think this state could flip. Now, that didn't happen, but they are increasingly confident here. Texas is no longer the certainty for the Republicans that it once was, and that has got some in the GOP pretty worried. Texas gained two new seats in Congress after the 2020 census, which showed the population shot up by 4 million over the last decade. 95% of that growth driven by black and Latino arrivals, two groups typically more likely to vote Democrat. But there are no new minority-dominated districts in the new maps. It's an interesting aspect of the American political process in which the process of drawing these maps is decentralized to the state level. Most states have a very political process that runs to some degree or another through the state legislature. Um, and those legislatures are partisan bodies. And they are gerrymandering nationwide, from Georgia to Florida to North Carolina, which has delayed next year's primaries because of legal challenges. But it is not just a Republican issue. The Democrats have done similar stuff in the past. Right. So, I mean, what's the problem? Well, the problem is, it's still undemocratic at the end of the day. And so, you know, when me and my friends and different other people I work with and organize, um, we're not pushing to get Democrats elected here. This is not what the fight is for. Right now, the congressional districts, the state house districts are all majority white here in Texas, even though Texas is one of the most diverse states in the entire country. Republican Governor Greg Abbott has signed off on the controversial changes. He's backed by the state attorney general, who calls the DOJ lawsuit a ploy to control Texas voters. There's really going to be less Hispanic voting. For some of those voters, the solution is simple. If all of us show up to vote, we can, it doesn't matter how much they gerrymandered the district, we will win those seats. But the question, is it fair or even legal? The courts will have to decide on that one. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, Austin, Texas.